gnomes. We have gnomes. Right, they don't seem to mind me being here. Can I play with them? Well, what you standing around here for? Go on about your own business. Arr. Okay, so we've gone from Germanic, Swedish, Dutch, Southern American to Scottish. I'm confused, but we'll play on. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. You well, keep your you hands think? off my son's marionette. It's Arr. grandson, not son. And I made it for him. Why do you care? I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's very well done. I don't suppose it could be bought. If it could, the price would be very cheap. I reckon you couldn't afford it. I'm guessing this now, is going to cost me more than one me silver coin. Beef. All right, so they're being douchebags. Maybe the sun can be... Graham attempts to speak to the young gnome, but the boy seems to be very shy and doesn't answer. Uh, conveniently. All right, it seems to be a tree up here. Is this... Oh, is this the uh, the we weeping willow tree? I remember this. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, it's a lot uglier than I remember it being. See, I tend to kind of over-romanticize my visions of these games from the past. I remember this music. I really remember this. I love this music, but God, I remember the Weeping Willow Tree being like a beautiful woman. And this is just kind of like this really ugly ant. Um, all right, well, let's see if I can be of any use. You don't have to be in the water uh, to talk yes. to her, dude. Willow? Yes? You can talk? She has a Why, face. Of course I can. What did you expect? Well, I've never seen a talking tree before. It's because what wrong? Cedric out of my view for a moment. Everything's wrong. Can't you tell? I'm not really a tree. I'm really a princess. Uh-huh. You see, my fiancé and I were walking through this wood Let when a natural witch this came along and was be. instantly charmed by my handsome prince. When he naturally refused her advances, she jealously banished him to a faraway land and turned me into a tree. You then she stole land. my he heart. Was right, he was right across Stole your street. heart? Yes. All right. She turned my heart to I'll gold and took game. it away with her. The only way I can become human again is to have my heart brought back. Now, all I have to cheer me up is my heart. It's quite magical, you know. It doesn't look like it's, it's so much of a job cheering you out. You're pretty much heard. you've been crying a fucking now, river. Please, leave Literally. me alone in my sorrow. You know what? You didn't really lose that much of a catch, really. He was really a douchebag. He was whiny, too. So just, you know, get on with your life, your little tree. Get back to your roots. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I don't trust them. You don't trust any. Oh, cow. Knock, knock. Who's there? The interrupting cat. Moo. All right, the sullen just... man doesn't appear to be the conversational sort. All right. Um, can I go into your house and steal your shit? No. The cow doesn't like that. All right. Well, moving on. Hey, hey, ho! Oh. It will cost you one gold coin to see Madamushka. Madamushka? The Mamushka! I just noticed how his uh, mustache kind of changed color there uh, when he stood up. That was kind of cool. Alright, now I know ants seem harmless, but I just have the sneaking suspicion that these ants will somehow kill me. So, And just because I need a, I need a fucking laugh. Get in there. The ants don't seem to take kindly to uninvited trespassing. Trespassing. Alright, so apparently the ants are harmless after all. Alright, well, mental notes. Ants. I'm sure that'll come in handy later. And, oh, bear. There's a bear. Ooh, what happened to the bear, Graham? Ooh, it's a bear! It's such a poisonous bear! Alright, so... Bear wants honey. There's a stick apparently there that I Graham want. Graham notices a large Why? stick lying on the ground near the old There's tree. a bear there. Why would you even notice a stick when there's a fucking bear? You know what? Just as... Again, because I need a giggle, let's fuck with the bear. Graham should be very careful around a big old bear. Big old bear. Graham should be very careful. God damn it. I want to fuck with the bear. Can I give it... Wait a sec. There's like fish, don't they? 
They shoot horses, don't they? See? I go out to get myself killed and I end up solving a fucking puzzle. I what the hell? I would have thank you ever so much what? for saving our hearts from the claws of that horrible bear. She was just a ventriloquist up to a second ago. Time, I offered you a luscious honeycomb from our hearts. What? Please feel free to retrieve one. I promise my bees won't harm you. I am absolutely it frozen. Handy on your travel. This is ridiculous. Okay, all right, all right. It's it's a fantasy game. It's a fantasy game. <clears throat> Roll with it, dude. All right. So she promises me the bees won't hurt me. So I'm gonna go in there and grab a honeycomb as my uh, as my just reward. Graham reaches a hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. Very sticky chunk of honeycomb. Wrapping it in a protective piece of cloth. Very sticky chunk, then chunk of honeycomb. It. All right. And let's grab this stick that got this rapt attention. Graham bends down and picks up the large stick from the ground. Why does that need narration? It's pretty obvious when he bends down, reaches at the Ooh, stick, and there's nothing but the hot dry desert for the west. Oh no, no you it's should avoid it because there are oh, bears out there. there. Oh, if you insist on going, I'll wait for you here. You always, you're always willing to be that. You always got my back, Cedric. All right, fuck the desert. All right. Uh, well, there you are. I was just starting to get concerned. Oh, you can go Don't for worry five about me, seconds. Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. I've been back and forth to deserts many times. I'm winged fuck. All right. This hay power looks like it has something I want. It's going to be a needle. Graham it's going to be a needle. It's going to be a needle. But doesn't see anything of importance. Alright, so it's not playing the obvious card. Touche game. Alright, what is this? It's an inn. The Swarthy Hog. That's my new nickname for a uh, little ball. Oh, the I'll Swarthy Hog. I don't like that place. You don't like anything, do you, Cedric? Ooh. He doesn't like snakes, doesn't like bears, doesn't like the desert, doesn't like inns, doesn't like dogs, doesn't like towns. Fuck the owl, what is he here for? Um, alright. Let's, uh, the three men haven't noticed Graham yet. Perhaps if he got a little closer. Why do I sense apprehension in my narrator's voice? Save. These guys are going to be mean to me. You know that job we pulled yesterday? Where's the rest of the loot, huh? I think one of you guys is holding out and on. Now we have a Brooklyn accent. Gentlemen, please excuse this me. This is not a conversation to, to walk in on, Graham. They're talking about fucking crime shit. Diana's bull ain't got no more rooms. Hey, boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? <laughs> hey. Dude. Uh, Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bonds. Okay. Don't worry, Graham. What? The innkeeper will soon put you out of your misery. See, this is what I'm talking about. Now, it used to be even worse in previous games, but if you don't have the little knickknack that you need to get out of any a, a given situation, you're fucked. So I'm guess if I walked in here with something that I could fight back with or or maybe break my restraints, We'd be groovy. And there's no second tries. If you didn't save, you are absolutely boned. Go if you want to. I'll wait here. You can go if you want to. You can leave the power behind. Oh. 